Hey everybody, this is Kuin Pack with Let's Play Deja Vu 1 and 2, the case books of Ace Harding. And we're gonna end up in Las Vegas again. We got a bone to pick with Joey's underhanded dealings that he's put us under a really bad thing. When we only owed him a thousand, now we owe him a hundred thousand. He's dead! The train arrives at Las Vegas Station. Back. You're inside the Las Vegas train station. A man dozes behind the counter of the luggage claim. Oh, what's this? A bolded train schedule always comes in handy. The elderly attendant looks your way. Well, man, I'm, I'm looking for a baggage claim. Got a ticket. This is mine. Totally mine. You nudge the man and show him your claim ticket. With a sta with a start, he look he white he oh with a yeah with a start, he wakes up, looks under the counter, and pulls out a big suitcase. Here it is, Ace. Done it. The suitcase has the initial T B on it. You open the suitcase. Find laundry too. You open the laundry. An envelope. Snapshot inside. The picture shows Siegel and some other guy standing outside of cleaners. Scrawled on this envelope are the words, Anthony Malone, Lucky Dice Hotel and Casino. This picture, Siegel is shaking hands with this, with the thin guy in front of uh, the Reliant Cleaners. Looking closer, you see the initials DV on the thin guy's handkerchief. Hmm, interesting. Wonder who this guy is and how he knew Siegel. That sounds shady. We'll take the envelope, then we'll open the envelope. Obviously my inventory is starting to get full of bullshit. It's getting harder to do things. We'll open the envelope one. This letter is addressed to Anthony Malone. Mr. Malone, I've come across something strange. I've been making payments to the cops in Chicago on behalf of Siegel. When Joey was iced, I grabbed the, the books before the coppers could. The payments I'm making aren't recorded there. DV runs things here pretty tight, so he, he must know about it. And since it ain't in the books, you don't know about it? I think DV is making a power play and is secretly muscling in on your territory. Tom Bonwell. Oh, thank God, Tom. That that sounds like something to hand on a mafia boss that wants me dead. Joey was a dickhead. Well, we already knew that part, though. Thank you, baggage claim man. I don't got time to waste, though. All right, we got some things to do. Make a state. Cool stuff like this. The barren desert stretches as far as the eye can see. Oh look, a skull. What the fuck? I'm gonna touch the skull. Let's let, let's look at it. It's the sunbleached skull from some hapless animal. Can I take the skull? I cannot take the skull. Can I punch the skull? Ouch! And Oh, what the fuck? A bird! The sun beats down mercilessly on you. There's a lot of desert maps. No shade, no water. Sweat profusely, hoping that there's an end to this desert. An endless desert, all right. By the way, this is uh, all for all for uh, content. Holy shit, a lizard! <laughs> My favorite. It's never gonna kill me. It's supposed to kill you. Water, you croak. It's only a matter of time before you become buzzard bait. 
Could it be? Why, yes, it is. A lemonade stand. Dad go over to the stand and rasp. Water. I need water. Just a mirage. You should have known. You must be near the end of your endurance because your mind is beginning to play tricks on you. Oh my god. This is amazing. I love this. Surprised I'm not dead yet. Doing laps around in the rivers in a desert. That's not the right melody. Shit. You fall face down in the sand. You can't manage another step. You lie for a while. What seems like a long time of waiting for the end to come. It does come, but not soon enough. Jesus fucking Christ, Ace. You went around the desert. You were doing laps in the middle of the Nevada desert. What were you trying to do? It's okay. We don't need to actually do any of that. I think where we need to go is in here and then the back hallway. All the elevator. I'm pretty sure we need to call the elevator. <laughs> Press the button and the door opens. Actually able to board that damn thing. You're inside cramped space of the elevator. Lucky Dice Hotel. Gonna make sure that this is what we need to do. Yeah, we're gonna need to go to the third floor. This is gonna get weird. The elevator is closed. They didn't wanna take the button. Press the button for third floor. With a jerk, the elevator starts moving. With a jolt, you arrive at floor three. No need to open the door. The third floor hallway is much of the same as the rest. Except there's something here that's of great importance. Something is written on the side of this large hamper. The elevator door is closed. It reads, Reliant Cleanest. The beginnings of an idea form in your head. Now this is gonna look stupid. I'm gonna open the hamper. And we are gonna enter the hamper. Inside the hamper, it stinks like day-old socks and smelly shorts. Close the lid. You're inside an industrial-sized laundry hamper. Phew, it stinks. You need to somehow waste time. What happens if I punch? Nothing happens. You can feel someone pushing the dumpster. The dumpster stops with a jolt and a crash. Hoist it onto a truck. And the grinding of gears and the truck is underway. Good thing you don't get car sick. It's a long ride. The ride is over. You hoist it out again. The lid is open with a bang. Blink as the bright light pours in. Your eyes begin to adjust as you know two burly thugs glaring at you. Hey, what the fuck is this shit? The Herman Monster Club? Who men frisk you? Mm, it got sexual really fast. As the two coons frisk you, they find the letter to Malone. Wow, look at that moose. He's the he's says the skinny of the two. He's got the letter to the a letter to the boss. That's right, Spike. You think this guy's a big shot or something? Replies the uglier one. I don't know, Moose. Let's tie this guy up. Go tell DB right away. With that they leave. Not before they grab everything of interest from your pockets. How fucking annoying is this? Wow, we got hands. Bent nails and splinters adorn the wooden crate. What? I want to operate my hands on that. Your tied, your tied hands prevent you from doing that. Pick up the crate. Can't do that. What should this be used on? You vigorously work the rope back and forth over the nails. The ropes break. The rope breaks.
Oh, we're gonna be chased. Like a backup. <laughs> Your hands are free! Now we gotta get out of here. Up. Up this way, Ace. You're in the building's hallway. You don't wanna be here for too long. Leave. You're standing near the outskirts of town. Uh oh. Your footsteps. One of the thugs grabs hold of your collar and says, So you managed to get loose, eh? Don't just stand there, Moose. Let him have it. Before he gets away. Big one pumps you so full of lead that the, you wind up looking like a bad slice of Swiss cheese. You're dead as shit, Ace. Okay, so we don't want to go there. Just want to go up. We're gonna go forward. Wait. Wait a minute. What? Oh, it took too long. So hiding in that crate is probably not what we want to do. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Do I need to go behind that counter? I'm out of time, but let me try to do this one more time. I don't think the answer is to hide in that crate. You're in a fairly large office. Oh, they come at you right away. Hi. Okay, no. So, I'm assuming that I just, uh, go back in here, then. Oh no, they broke it. Uh oh you hear footsteps. The two goons are coming back. You hear a voice say, Hey Spike, he's gone! A gruff voice replies, there's no sign that he left, so he must be hiding here somewhere. Okay, so that's not the answer either. We gotta figure this one out, so we'll do that next time. This has been Koo Impact with Let's Play Deja Vu 1 and 2. The case books of Ace Harding. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment next time. Goon Squad!